well. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am participating in Jamie's week of color and it's Tuesday, so it's orange. So yeah, if you like this look, keep on watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Let's get into the look. All right, so first step, we're gonna take our concealer and a concealer brush and we're just gonna put a nice base for our eyes. Don't worry, I'm wearing a top. Pa, pa, pa. Don't worry. All right, so. I'm just gonna use my Bye Bye Cosmetic out in light tan today, and just take a concealer brush. And just put it all over your lid. And today we're using the color orange, so it's gonna be kind of similar to other looks that I've done, but eh, just similar in that I'm using the orange color. I don't think that I've done this particular look on my channel before, but it's one of my favorite easy looks that I do. Just kind of bring it all out, and then we'll bring it up to the eyebrow as well. Alright, then whatever is left over, just blend in. Alright, I'm just going to blend everything else out with just a fluffy brush. And I'm going to do my eyes first today just because the color that I'm going to use is super bright. And in case we get any fallout, I can clean it up. Alright, so after that set, just take a big fluffy brush. And I'm actually going to be using my Morphe 350 Nature Glow today. So I'm basically going to be using these oranges on the side. But first, I'm just going to take this fluffy brush, dip it in this vanilla color, and just kind of go over my lid, up to the brow, all over. So once you have it set, we're just going to use, I think maybe like two colors today, so it's going to be pretty simple, with a big fluffy brush. We're just going to be going in with this one first, this top corner color. And just going to be doing it in our crease. Just small brush strokes back and forth. Bring it out to the corner. And inner. And a little bit on the lid. Whatever is pretty much left over, just brushing the lid. And yeah, same thing for the other side. Whatever is left over, just bring on your lid. Alright, and then the next step, we're just going to deepen it up a little bit. So we're going to take this color right here. And just kind of focus it on the outer corner. And that's pretty much it for that part. Just take your big fluffy brush in the beginning again with that vanilla color. And we're just going to hit right below the eyebrow again. And now we're just going to take a small brush. it all on the lid if I can find one just take a like 217 MAC brush this one already has some pink on it and we're actually going to be going in with this bottom corner
corner copper color down here. We're just put a little bit of that on. So we have that layer on, and then I'm going to grab another palette. Then I'm going to grab my MAC color, this one right here, and we're just going to go in with that. I think this one's called Coppering. And just sweep that just on top of the other color that we just put on. All right, and that is it for the top of the eyes. Now I'm just gonna take a washcloth and just kind of clean up the underneath real quick. Now the red look I did the other day for this week of color, like it's super dramatic. So today with the orange, I wanted to be a little bit more wearable for anybody. So now we're going to take, we're gonna do our skin real quick. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Poreless Primer Putty Now I do my face in this order when I'm using bright colors, like I'll just do the top and do my face because you don't want to go too extreme with your eyeshadow. And I feel like sometimes when I finish my full eye and then do my face, I'm like, ooh, that was a little too much. So I'm just going to start with the top of my eye first. It's pretty basic. It's just those three colors. Put this primer on where I need it. And the next step, I like a very full coverage foundation, so I always use my MAC Studio Fix, NW20. And just go all around your face. And make sure you get your chest. See, and now the eyeshadow, I haven't changed anything, and it's way more like, ah, in your face. And the reason why I use so much orange, because I have blue eyes, and that is your complimentary color. So I always pretty much stay within the orange family with stuff. Everything's got an orange undertone for me. But you just got to know what works best for you. But I feel like this color would look good on anybody's eye color. Okay, so once you have a good lip, oh! God damn, I always drop something. Once you have a good layer of foundation on, we're just gonna hit a little bit with some concealer and I'm not gonna go too light. I'm gonna take my medium again from my Bye Bye Cosmetics and just place that underneath my eyes. You can see that it's not much different than the foundation that I put on. I am just going to kind of make a wing. Bring it up in the tear duct of your eye. And up to the lash line. And then just go in with your foundation brush. Now I'm just going to take a big brush and just kind of blend out all any leftover foundation strokes.
And then I'm going to go in with a littler brush and my Kat Von D powder. This one is in Translucent, the setting powder. I just got a little sample of it. There's a lot in it though. And we're just going to go in to our eyes right in here. Just pack it on. And I'm just going to put it anywhere that gets more oily than I would like to be. And after you put that, I'm just going to touch up the eyebrows a little bit. I'm taking my Anastasia dip brow and a flat brush. All right, so the eyebrows are filled in. And now we're just gonna do the last couple steps. So I am gonna put on winged eyeliner today because I love winged eyeliner. And I'm just gonna be using my Kat Von, actually, no. I'm using my NYX. Okay, so I'm gonna be using my Kat, I, using my Kat eyeliner, be doing Kat eyeliner with my NYX. So I'm just gonna get a compact and like a like I did earlier, just hold it up. Like I do in my other video, I'm just gonna put this below me and draw on my eyeliner. And if you mess up your wing at all, it's a quick fix. All you're going to need is your concealer brush. Concealer on the back of your hand. And just a little swipe. And then you're good. And you can kind of go back in and just touch up the corners. Anyways, we're good on that side. So after I take my concealer and fix my mistake, I'm going to take some of my Kat Von D setting powder, large brush, and just touch underneath it. And this area looks a little shiny. And I'm gonna do the same for this side too. All right, so there's our winged eyeliner. And now, I'm just gonna do my face real quick. So today I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some contour because I feel like my face needs to be very symmetrical because you know what this hairdo down the center of my face so in order to match the rest of it I gotta do that whoops so in order to match the rest of my face I'm gonna be using my mocha stick from Fenty and I'm gonna be drawing in some cheekbones and making my five head into a forehead Bing. And who doesn't want a, bit, a nice jawline? And this area too. Okay. Cool. Once you have that, just take a fluffy brush. And I'm actually just flicking this back into my hairline. I'm either back into the hairline or I'm towards the center of your face.
And after we do that, I'm gonna just buff it in real quick. Make sure there are no harsh lines on your face besides your eyeliner. Okay, so first, to finish the bottom of our eyes, we are gonna take the bright orange color down here and we're gonna smoke that underneath. Then, blend it out. And now we're gonna go in with the one from our MAC palette, this one. And we're simply just gonna go on top of that. And then again, just kind of brush everything out underneath. Next step, add some white eyeliner in your waterline. So next I'm gonna take a little bit of my dip brow on that flat brush again. And we're just gonna go up against our waterline. Just at the corner. Pretty much you just want to smudge it in there. And then go back in with the same brush I used to put that orange on and just smudge it again with the brush. And blend it in again. Oh. Alright. To finish the look, we are going to be... Oh, we're going to add our highlight and all that fun stuff. So today, I'm going to go in with my cover fix as my highlight because I want everything to be super glowy. And we're gonna, this one is the Cover Fix Custom Enhancer Drops in Moonlight. We're just going to go in. I'm actually going to put it on just a fluffy brush today. And we're just going to hit our cheekbones. And I'm just brushing up towards my hairline. And same thing on the other side. Down your nose. Glowing. Then I'm going to take a little bit more and put it on my chest. And then the shoulders. And after I place it there, I'm just going to buff it in with a brush again. And last, or getting close to last, I'm just gonna line my lips. All right, so then after I do my first layer of lining, I used uh, Makeup Talk by Morphe. Then I'm gonna go in with their Bite Me pencil and just do the outside.
and hit the underneath. Hit the underneath. Doing that creates a shadow on your lips, which makes them look bigger. Next step, take a MAC lipstick, mine's Leave Me Printless, and put that on. I'm gonna go back one to bite me. I'm just kind of bring that highlight toward the center of the face. I sound bitchy when I say that, towards the center of your face. And after we do that, we're just gonna take the Morphe Lip Gloss and Flower Crown. Looks like this. And put some of that on. And after that, I'm going to put on some bronzer. I wanna keep it very shimmery and fun, so I'm gonna use my Too Faced Luminous Chocolate Soleil. Chocolate Gold Soleil, and I'm just gonna go over my Fenty Mocha Stick. And bring it down to your chest. All right, after I do that, I'm gonna put some lashes, mascara, and then I'll pop back on.